Islam. Dwayne Bath Bay. Um, Islam. I'm right now, I just got off work. It's um the twenty second of July. And um I'm at Whole Foods when I'm outside. Uh, today was an interesting day. Um uh, today um uh, I just uh kept my thoughts in focus because um it's good to separate. Uh, and so I was definitely uh, stating my separation because um, anyway, I just I, um, I, I chant, but I chant using doing this. So I, I use my lips with no sound. And as I walked, I gave a prayer for protection. I was asking Allah to protect me from all United States military that have not taken an oath or a firm to uphold divine laws of freedom. The Constitution of 1787, Abraham Lincoln's proclamations and Abraham Lincoln's 13th Amendment 20 sections. Protecting me from those that they use as weapons as mass destruction. Because a weapon can be anything. It could be a person that has the science of telepathy, which Imani Gray Hyphen Bay and I don't have, we reject. A weapon can be anything used to send sharp pains, whatever. So um, I, I sent a prayer out as I was walking because I was feeling sharp pains around my foot as I was walking. And um, these are, and some of the things I experienced um, definitely has to come from a different, a, a science that's high, um, technology. For instance, um, while I'm resting at American Extended Stay, a male outside and around the room would make a noise like begging. Sometimes they have a Spanish accent, sometimes a black Negro. And, um, but nonetheless, uh, my cell phone would go off, like beep. While they, like, it's like a mumbling outside the room, begging, saying, I love you, kid, um, we paid. And then my cell phone goes off simultaneously. So I know we're among those that the um, this, that scientists have created as experiments. So we have to turn our cell phone off so that in the middle of the night we don't hear it go off because that is a form of, that can be used as a form of engagement. So that which so if there's a stalker that is some type of experiment, part robot, whatever trying to wake a person up by um, using their chip that's in their mind to uh, manipulate technology. So the phone goes off. It wakes me up. That is a form of engagement. So we have to turn our cell phone off to keep from not, um, to keep from it not beeping in the middle of the night because that is a form of engagement and an engagement can lead to justify why unclean spirits that are demonic want, um, want you know, feel that they have the right to rape spiritually, um, molest spiritually, invade dreams, and then and eventually, if they can, rape and molest on the physical plane. Because that, those are all forced forms of engagement. Imani Gray Hyphen Bay and I, Rhonda Arrington Hyphen Bay, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. So, but we know that we are among spirits that are unclean, that have the science of telepathy and that are different and are able to manipulate technology. And obviously being used to breed in the population to send, maybe spread diseases, not maybe, to spread diseases and diseases can come in many forms. To rape, cause harm, acts of terrorism. Sending sharp pains, that's an act of terrorism. Invading someone's thoughts, that's an act of terrorism. That is a body being used as a weapon. If you look up the word weapon according to Black's Law Dictionary, um, that being used as a weapon to cause harm. So, um, I sent a prayer out for protection over not just me but many divine life forms natural beings 
from the United States military do have not taken an oath or affirm to uphold divine laws of freedom, such as the Constitution of 1787, Abraham Lincoln's proclamations, and the 13th Amendment with 20 sections, Islam. So, uh, because if they have not, that means that which controls them have not, Islam. And so they are, the likelihood of them being used as a terrorist or abuse their power is high. Now, if you now the United States military and Navy that we are encouraged to respect as Moorish American Hebrew Muslims are the ones that have taken an oath or affirmed to uphold the proclamations, the 13th Amendment, 20 sections, and Abraham Lincoln's um, and and the Constitution of 1787, all aspects of these divine laws of freedom. That is what we are, the Hebrew Muslims as Moorish American, we are encouraged to respect. That this is in um, the Navy, the Army, that um, th that form of military is spoken in the proclamations of Abraham Lincoln. So we know how we are supposed to have a state of mind because they're supposed to be a form of protectorate as we reclaim our actual freedom. But that has not been the case in history. So if in history, they have been known, those that have not uphold or taken an oath or affirmed to uphold constitutional law and these divine laws of freedom to, be, to behave as terrorists. Not just um, terrorists as those overseas, but upon the people that led the um, inhabitants of this landmass. So I send a protection over myself and over all divine life forms, all natural beings who are practicing natural law, which is the Constitution of 1787, Abraham Lincoln's Proclamation in the 13th Amendment, 20 sections. These are divine laws of freedom. Freedom and bondage cannot exist in the same atmosphere. So I don't know what spirit is um, outside and around the room making noises and manipulating with my cell phone but we have to turn it off to keep this from happening because that too can be a form of engagement which will, in their sick, demonic mind, will justify why they feel the need to rape. Because remember, we take showers. We sit on the toilet stool and we have to pull our pants down and sit on the toilet stool so we have to take our clothes off to take a shower. Um, so we have to, uh, we're eating our food. Um, my son is taking his shower. He has to take off his cloak. I hear female spirits as well begging eerie tone. And sometimes they have a Spanish accent. Sometimes it's a Negro black accent. Uh, my son is sitting on the toilet stool, using the bathroom. We, so these are personal things that we have to do inside the room. So what would, get, what would make a spirit feel that this is mentally healthy for them to be observing, stalking, and watching someone as they're doing this. Now only that which have a science that can do this would be the, that which has the science of telepathy or um, that has um, that ability to do that. So what would make them feel it's all right to do that? Because bondage, and then say the word pay outside and around the room, bondage and freedom don't exist in the constitutional law. And according to constitutional law, Abraham Lincoln's proclamation. That is a form of terrorism, and that spirit that's being used to do that, or is doing that, is a weapon of mass destruction. So, um, that's all I have to say. Because it's not just, it's not just happening here. It, it's definitely, if it's, if it's going on here, then you know it's happening in places where, um, someone might not have um, internet access. Um, one that I wanted to tell you, Dwayne Balfabe, is sometimes, um, I don't know if you're about to have a child or not <coughs> with the female you love, but if you are Dwayne Balfabe, I don't want, because sometimes, um, I just don't, I'm, I feel the need to give you um, a state of mind of where I'm at with that if you are or if you have Dwayne Bafel Bay it's not that um I, I don't have I, I can't I can't think Nick I have nothing to say about it I I don't um I you know um the child will be a part of you so 
and um, that's all I can say I'm, I'm, I'm literally detached literally I am detached from um, that experience because right now it um, I'm focusing on trying to keep my frequency at a certain level and even when I'm um, I'm just I'm upset I still have to keep my frequency and my vibrations at a, a certain level and it's starting to rain so I'm going to have to get ready to go so um, um, the saying the saying that says a nation cannot rise no higher than a woman no higher than this woman I really really tr I am really trying to have understanding of that statement because that's a powerful statement uh, and I am a representation of mother earth so nonetheless i am a representation of mother earth and the universe so nonetheless all i can say is um that if you have a child or you want to have a child it's a part of you but my state of mind right now is trying to focus on mental healing and raising my frequency recovering or reclaiming um that which i once had and knowledge, spirituality, and mental balance. That's all. That's that's where I'm at right now. And um, that that doesn't mean I'm is ne I'm negative towards the it or it not, and I because it's easy to go that way, especially when th th um, thoughts are being plotted t constantly. But I choose not to because that's not. It's just not righteous. It's not righteous. I don't care what I experience. I don't care how I may feel how I yearn to be with you and she's with you right now and I'm not with you and all that that is so superficial um, because when it comes time comes down to it my frequency my vibration is more important as well I'll talk to you later I, I wish you well and if you are having a child with her I hope she has a healthy child and um, and I hope you are mentally healthy and you are um, you are being a supportive husband because if I was having a child by you I would want you to be a supportive husband to me as well if I was having a child by you I would want my child to come out healthy healthy and strong so I hope you have a healthy child yeah and that's and that's exactly and that's keeping it 100 as long